let us look at the time complexity of the if statement. Let us consider this part of the pseudocode. Here we have an if statement and if the condition is true, then the statement or statements inside the if structure will be executed. If the condition is false, then the statement or statements inside the if structure will not be executed. The condition in the if statement is evaluated only once and does not depend upon the size of the input. The condition only evaluates to either true or false. Therefore, the time complexity of the if statement is one or constant. An important point to remember is that here we are looking at the time complexity of the if statement, which is one or constant. But remember that the time complexity of the statements inside the if structure depends on what operations are performed by those statements. Let us look at the time complexity of the if else statement. Here we have an if else statement and if the condition is true, then the statement or statements inside the if structure are executed. And if the condition is false, then the statement or statements inside the else structure will be executed. Since this is an if else structure, both statements inside the if and else structure cannot execute at the same time. Either the statements inside the if structure will execute or the statements inside the else structure will execute. The condition in the if else statement is evaluated only once and does not depend on the size of the input. The condition only evaluates to either true or false. Therefore, the time complexity of the if else statement is one or constant. An important point to remember is that here we are looking at the time complexity of the if else statement, which is one or constant. But remember that the time complexity of the statements inside the if structure or the statements inside the else structure depends on what operations are performed by those statements. Let us consider this algorithm. This algorithm takes a number n as the parameter and checks if the number n is a positive number or a negative number. Suppose if the number n is passed as 5, then the condition in the if else structure is true and the statement inside the if structure that is write function will be executed. That is, we will have the output as positive and the else structure will not be executed. Now, since the if condition is executed only once, it is considered as the primitive or basic statement and will be taking unit time to execute and its frequency is 1. Suppose if the number n is passed as negative 3, then the condition in the if else structure is false, so the statement inside the if structure will not be executed. But the statement inside the else structure will be executed, that is the right function which outputs the result as negative. Now since the if condition is executed only once, it is considered as a primitive or the basic statement and will be taking unit time to execute and its frequency is 1. So if you observe whatever is the value of n passed to this algorithm, the condition in the if else statement is either true or false and does not depend on the size of the input that is n. Therefore, the frequency or the number of times the if else statement executes is 1. Again, an important point to remember is that here we are looking at the time complexity of the if else statement which is constant. The time complexity of the statements inside the if structure or the statements inside the else structure depends on what operations are performed by those statements.